Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will be discussing about what is a dependency parsing tree and what are the algorithms to create a dependency parsing tree. Uh, so before we move ahead, you must uh, need to watch out my previous videos on what is parsing, uh, what is context-free grammar, how to convert a context-free grammar to CFG, and how we create a syntactic parsing tree. So basically, uh, in my last video, I have discussed about how uh, syntactic parsing trees can be created using a set of rules, uh, context-free grammar. Now in case of dependency parsing uh, there are a few things that we would be adding out so let's understand what are the things that can't be done using syntactic parsing but through dependency parsing tree so uh, in some of the languages uh, the uh, the word order is free what do we mean by word order is free it means that key like in case of uh, english we know that there is a particular sequence that has to be followed you can't put a determiner after a noun or something like this but eventually in case of in many languages you don't know how, we really don't have that ordering so like for example if we have a sentence in english like he is standing behind the wall so like in some languages it can be like he is behind standing the wall and and then also the sentence is correct so the word order is pretty free so like handsome boy boy handsome remains the same so in english we need to follow some uh, follow some grammatical rules but in case of many languages this is not an issue so parsing out such trees using syntactic parsing is a bit difficult because if you see uh, like if you remember from my last video it has a set of uh, grammatical rules that need to be followed and using those rules only we are creating a syntactic parsing tree but such uh, rules won't be applicable to dependent like uh, for some most of the lang more, many languages because the word flow is free so it can be the case that a uh, verb, verb generating a noun verb can uh, and can be a reverse also non verb generating a verb so there can be many many rules that would be generating and as a word order is free uh, any rules uh, like fitting out any rules would be a bit difficult task we need a more flexible solution to create dependency parsing trees also de uh, dependency parsing trees do also uh, let us know the relationship between different words in the sentence uh, rather than just using the grammatical rules so we will see in uh, an example below what are the advantages of syntactic parsing tree uh, don't have as compared to dependency parsing tree so in dependency parsing tree it can handle more morphological rich languages like a uh, word order can be free and many like continuous uh, adverbs getting used continuous uh, determiners getting used it can be anything uh, so like for example as i've given uh, in check a language a grammatical object might occur before or after a locational adverb so for example over the table can become the table over and uh, ex uh, absolutely correct the head dependent relationship extraction helps us in semantic parsing uh, so what uh, dependency parsing is something between rules and the semantic meaning of the sentence so it is giving us a, a, some idea around the uh, the basic hard code tags also alongside it is also giving us an idea about the meaning of the sentence also so that is semantic parsing the last one and head dependent relationship we'll be discussing later in this video what are head dependent uh, relationship so uh, an example uh, dependency par uh, dependency parsing tree for the sentence i prefer the morning flight through denver can be seen here as you can see that as compared to syntactic parsing tree we are using different tags now uh, n subject d object determiner n mod n mod case root etc so let's understand what are the different components of a dependency parsing tree so uh, if you look in the above diagram a head dependent it, in the arrows representing the relationship the word of origin is called as the head and the arrow head where it is going is called as the dependent so in case of i prefer prefer is the head and i is the dependent root word which is the root of the parsing tree so as you saw in uh, syntactic parsing also we have a, a root from which the entire tree starts so that word is called as the root as uh, like pretty obvious grammatical functions and arcs so the arrowheads that you can see and the values that are getting filled up the tags that we are giving out right now are called as grammatical functions or arcs so these are the different tags that we have used and their full forms like n subject as you saw in the above diagram nominal subject direct object indirect object clausal complement so these are more towards english and i won't be going into the Engl uh, english grammatical so you can uh, google out and understand what does each of this uh, description means what are each of this class means so we won't be deep diving into this but we would be deep diving into how to create such a tree uh, similarly like a few examples for how different uh, relationships are, can be used and identify and we can identify where the head and the dependent is so for example united cancelled the flight so here cancelled is the head and dependent is united and the relationship between the two words is a nominal subject so this is how you can read this 
so basically uh, coming back to dependency parsing tree a dependency parsing tree can be considered as a directed graph right where the set of vertices is like uh, the words being used and the edges are the arcs or the grammatical functions that we are using so as you can see in the diagram also it uh, do appears to be a, a directed graph only if we will uh, lay out it in a tree structure now there are a few set of rules that we need to keep in our hand before we create a dependency parsing tree so uh, the root uh, node that is the root word that we have can't have any incoming arcs so it can only have outgoing arcs it can only be the head but it can't be the dependent for any of the relationships the vertices uh, can have only one incoming arc so eventually but uh, they can have be multiple outgoing arcs also so uh, they can be dependent on just one word but can be the head for other words a unique path should exist between root and each vertex in the tree so that's pretty crucial so these are the three rules that we need to keep in our head before we move on to create a dependency parsing tree first one being the root doesn't have an incoming arc so it's always the head vertices can only uh, can uh, be dependent on only one word but not on but can be the head for other words and there should be a unique path existing between the root and the other words in the sentence so let's understand a few more small uh, grammaticals uh, like uh, definitions uh, that we would be using in dependency parsing tree before moving ahead with the algorithms so projective arc a projective arc uh, is an arc is a grammatical function in which the head and the dependent and the words between falling between them the head should have a relation should be uh, should be able to reach these words directly so for example in the uh, the morning uh, if you can see uh, the morning flights so there is a relationship the and flight determiner so flight is the head and the is the dependent now the words lying between the morning the head also has a relationship with the morning word also so what does the projective work state that it states that ki, uh, if we have a relationship so the words lying between head and uh, the dependent the head should have a relationship with those words also similarly uh, cancelled flights so if you see can again we have a cancelled is the head and flight is a dependent so in this case uh, what it is uh, saying that it can be a projective arc if cancelled has a path to the and morning also so you can see that they, we have a path if it is not direct also so cancelled can go to flights and from flights it can reach to the and cancelled can go to flights and flight can reach to morning so there should be a path existing between uh, the head and the dependent then it will be called as a uh, the words between the head and the dependent then it will be called as a projective arc else it will be called as a non projective arc a projective parsing tree a project parsing tree a projective parsing tree is the one which uh, which has all the arc as projective arc so if an arc exists between a head and a dependent all the words lying between these head and dependent the head should be able to reach these words also uh, in some way or the other and similarly non projective parse tree means that ki we don't have a relationship uh, like uh, a tree in which at least one of the arc is non projective in nature as you can see in this example jet blue cancelled our flight this morning which was already delayed so uh, if you look at this flight and was we have an arc between them but you really can't reach out flight and morning because you see that we don't have a path to reach out to flight and morning so we go to was there is only one error coming out of flight was and was also doesn't have a relation to was a uh, morning so that is what this arc is we just need to figure out one arc that is non projective hence the entirety becomes a non projective tree